may be forced to play controlled here. This is not easy to judge. He obviously felt he had to play that shot. He couldn't see a safety shot. He couldn't see a containing shot. And at 15-12 in front, containing was probably the order of the day. Make Kyron work for his chances. I think Kyron will be under the most pressure he's been under in this year's World Championship because this is a frame that he needs because 16-12, even with his talents against John Higgins, you couldn't see him winning. But if he can take this frame and go to the mid-session interval just two behind, he's still right in there. So this is a very important juncture in this semi-final. Temptation to pop the yellow screw into the pack, but it's no guarantee to get on a red this way. And that's why he didn't play it. <coughs> Much better way to play. Three. Could have panicked and tried to split the reds open in that one shot, but with that red behind the black spot, better way to go and about it. Four. <coughs> Didn't want to be straight on this. Has he got a slight angle 11. on this red to get out for the black? Well, there's a little bit of angle. Just means he's got to play it with a little touch aside or just force it a little bit. So it's not straightforward, this. No, it wasn't straightforward by any means there. The red before it wasn't good. He left himself bad on the black. <coughs> doesn't have to play the black, doesn't have to try and pot it. Of course, he's desperate to get back in this match and score a few points. It's never nice to have a break come to an end because of your own doing, then this is the... Oh, what a shot he's taking yeah. on here. If you play it with screw, that makes the pot even tougher. Oh, this is massive. No, that was very difficult, but I'm just looking Kyle if Wilson the, there's one red might go in the right corner and it could be costly. Because if this red goes, well, maybe it doesn't, because John Higgins' body language tells me it doesn't. He, that's the one. He, if he had been able to pop that, he would have opened the bunch. He'd have been on the black. It would have been a great chance. He's still not, not convinced whether <coughs> he can possibly pot it. It was a big black to take on. Didn't like it myself, but just got a bit lucky. Got a free shot of this. Unless it just catches the jaw, the far jaw, and sticks it up for his opponent. Playing to the nearer jaw is preferable sometimes. When you miss, the red goes down the table. It's nearly over the fall of the slate. Wilson 
wriggle off the ropes. John Higgins looked to have the advantage. What an arena. Fantastic shot from Kyle Wilson. He's on a red. It's not nice, though. When you see that shot from the overhead from the side, you just see how big the table hey. is, don't you, Dennis? I mean, when we see our, our from our sort of position here, the overhead, the table is foreshortened. But uh, you see the skill of the players from the side on, I think, more. Yep. 12 feet by 6 feet, the table. It's a tricky little cutback. Just about. No, but he's lost the cue ball somewhat. Had to put everything into the pot there. He wasn't sure where the cue ball was going to finish up. And this is awkward. He's going to make sure he he collides with some reds here. He needs to open them up. No. no. It was awkward. But I remember slams, nine. He's only left one pot, and John's going to have to bridge over the red. And looking at the red to the right of the blue, if he rop, drops this red in, the blue won't go there. So. Kyron, although we missed the pink, hasn't done a great deal of damage. I think John will play blue to green pocket. He doesn't have to do so much with the cue ball either. So one good long one. blue. And it'll be a decent chance then. Oh dear, why did he hit it that hard? <laughs> Just a little bit of tension and pressure creeping in there because he's, he's hit that harder than he intended. If you look where the cue ball's finished up, as we show you the blue wobble a few times. It would have gone in slower, wouldn't it? We're getting closer to the finishing line. You'd expect the tension of the levels to raise. A rotten shot, I think, unless one, unless pink goes, he obviously goes into the right to the left corner. But whether he wants to play it, it's a big pink to take on. He has to be more lined up than perhaps he, he is. Blue ball. Oh, if he's playing this blue to play position. What a tough shot this is. <laughs> Great pot. He hoped he could get past the green. It was obviously Six. going to be close. A long red into the left corner. It's the type of shot that He's been knocking in all the tournament. I'd make him favourite to knock this in. Only a slight favourite. Terrific reaction from the Crucible crowd to that 
long pot. He has some bottle, this player. And I think because it's the final frame before the mid-session interval, that's why there was pressure on John Higgins's blue there, even with all 14. his fast experience. He missed the blue just by pure pressure. One little nudge has opened everything up for Kyron Wilson. So 100% concentration, and he can get himself to the mid session interval, just two behind. Well, it doesn't matter if he comes up a little bit short, he can go down for the blue here. 22. All depends on the angle. Might be able to get through for the black. Yeah, found that little gap between the reds there. That was nicely judged there. ahead so not 30. many pots to go to secure the frame just the black and one more red to make absolutely certain well he's been playing catch up all this match but he's been fighting all the time as well Yeah, it's his first time at the semi-final stages, the one-table situation. It was a dream come true for this player. And he's living out that dream in great style. Oh, what a class act he is. Okay, he's running out of frames with which to overhaul John Higgins. So he gets closer and closer to the finishing line. Who knows what happens? He's given himself a chance. 47. Not many people can take John Higgins to the last mini session of a four session match. Sit in the dressing room, 52. chill out for a bit, and then take your chances. 53. Yeah, he'll be having a chat with his coach, Barry Stark, who's been with him for quite a number of years. Doesn't matter about the black not going in. He chops his cue for the mid-session interval. Well, what a friend. From this young player, Kyron Wilson, he keeps himself in this semi-final, but he's still two behind. It's 15-13. John Higgins still needs the two frames, and as long as it remains at two, Kyron Wilson will surely still feel he's in with a chance here. Brilliant frame, hey, so great response. Um, we mentioned John making the century the frame before, but that was wonderful again for him to keep tabs on him. And if you can rewind right to the very first session of this match, when John Higgins was tired from playing that match with Judd Trump the night before, he found two clearances in that to make it 5-3, and that's the difference in the scoreline right up to this point. It that's is. how important that's it was. It's incredible, isn't it? That, that first session setting the tone yeah. for this. But in that last frame, we saw Higgins miss that blue mm. to the green pocket, and that was really the, the foundation of Yeah, of it was a crucial blue. Here. I was a bit surprised how hard he actually hit this blue. I mean, all he had to do was just stroke it in. I mean, he was queuing very, very well from the century the previous. Well, there was a bit of tension in that, and it's not something that you normally see because he, he saw the red over the right-hand centre. He just had to stroke yeah. that blue in, give it a chance to go into the pocket. When you hit it a bit harder, your cue action goes a little, and that's exactly what happened to him, and that's just pure tension and pressure. But didn't Karen take his chance very well? That wow. brilliant opening long red, too. Superbly well, yeah, and there was a, a, a red in the mid-range one in the middle of the break that was absolutely fantastic as well. So, listen, he, he's hanging in there, and he, he's, you know, he's giving it everything he's got. 
He can only do what's there in front of him. At the moment, he's clinging on to the last session. You just don't know. He's never been in front. Mm. Yeah, yeah. The right time to do it is, is, is right near the winning post. Yeah, and the gap really for Higgins was was three frames for a fifth time. And he's managed to get himself back yeah. in here. It's fantastic stuff. I really hope that you are enjoying it at home. Now, uh, as you know, Higgins is trying to win.